This video is going to be over square roots. Well, a square root is the opposite of the square of a number. So, for instance, if you had um, 2 squared, the opposite of 2 squared would be the square root of 2. And so we're going to be talking about um, how to find the square root of a number. Now, the square root symbol is called a radical sign, and it looks like this. And so you can write it like this, and then your number goes inside. Now, an example is the square root of 16 equals 4. Now, you get the square root of um, 16 as 4 because if you have 4 times, like if you had 4 on this side and 4 on this side, this is 16 squares. And because you have 16 squares, you go ahead and take, you start in the middle of the square and you take that square root, and you can see that there are 4 squares that the line. Um, touches. So that means the square root of 16 is 4. Now to do square root on your calculator, you need to hit the second key. The second key means um, the inverse operation. So because the inverse operation of a square root is x squared, you're going to find that the square root key is here right above the, square, the squared key. And so you're going to hit second x squared to get the square root, and it's going to come up like this on your calculator. And then you're going to type in your number. And then you're going to type in equals. So that is how you find the square root on your calculator. Now, example, we're going to do the square root of 9. So on your calculator, you need to go ahead and hit second then the squared key for square root, and then hit 9 equals. And if you do that, you should get the answer 3. We're going to try the square root of 56, and you need to be doing this along with us. So now, to get the square root of 56, you need to hit the second squared key, and then 56 equals and you will get this number, 7.4833147774. Now, there's no reason why we need all of these numbers here. So we're going to round to the nearest hundredth. Remember, the hundredth place is here at the 8. So we're going to look next door. The 3 makes the 8 stay the same, so our answer ends up being 7.48. Now, hopefully, this has helped you understand how to find square roots on your calculator. It's much easier just to use the calculator for square roots. If you have any questions, please contact your teacher.